Hey, this is Matt. Once again, welcome back to the video. This is the paid request system for Edward. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos, topics, reactions, commentaries, reviews, re-reviews, what have you, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. Again, sorry about the noise in the background. I got the fan on because it's hotter as hell here in Texas. But Edward wanted me to talk about more Salt Park episodes. This time... Season 14, Episode 13, and Season 15, Episode 1. Now, Season 14, Episode 13 is the final of the it's the f final bit of this trilogy of episodes where the kids are comic book characters, including Kenny as Mysterion. This BP oil company drilled in the wrong places. Cthulhu is now ready to destroy the world. Kenny wants to find out his backstory and why he can't die. How did this come to be? Cartman being a jerk. It's with Cthulhu. Throughout this episode, he gets the other kids thrust into the dark dimension. Because he's butt buddies with Cthulhu now. I do like some of the style where there's comic book panels being done. So Mintberry Crunch has his backstory being an important character. You found out at the end he is actually very important. That's the big twist of it all. While they're in the dark dimension, Tenny, he has this thing where whenever he dies, he'll wake up in his bed and no one will remember it. So he knows what he's got to do is he's got to jump off into his death. They get freaked out, but he wakes up outside of the dark dimension, goes to Cartman, while Cartman and Cthulhu are killing all the people at Burning Man because Carmen doesn't like hippies. And really the, the thing I was getting invested in in a weird way is this whole backstory with Kenny and how did his powers come to be? Will he, what's he going to find in terms of closure if anything? And it's one of those things that I get why they. Why am I hesitating on this? Spoiler alert, you find out Mintberry Crunch with the previous episodes making fun of what is your power? Your power doesn't make sense. Well, he actually is very important to the situation. He really is a superhero. He really is kind of like a Superman where they sent him here and the plan was die, whatever, and uses his powers to defeat Cthulhu, saves the day. And Kenny never finds out anything about his past, never finds out anything about his powers. And then when he dies, and then at one point he sh doesn't he like shoot himself or something. And then they find out apparently each time it happens, the parents give birth, wrap it in Kenny's clothes, put him in bed, and then they go, we never should have been part of that cult. It just, you know, like, Cartman doesn't really get any fun comeuppance because of what he was doing. I mean, this is a guy that sent his friends to the Dark Dimension. You would like to have seen some type of comeuppance. Even if it was like Mintberry Crunch rubbing it all in Carbon's face or, I don't know, doing something to mess with them, something to make them cry, something. Uh, the other kids don't have much to do because they're stuck in the dark dimension for most of the episode. Butters really has nothing to do because he's in this little jail. And that's really the only thing that happens with Carbon is that he gets put into the little jail as well, being there with Butters. So that's really all that happens with, with Cartman. Kenny never... Like, that was the most interesting story to me, was old Kenny as Mysterion, and then Kenny, his background, his story, what they'll be go towards, culminate in. And there's none of it. It's just a cop-out. A lot of people like it. They like the, the twist. I did it. It's South Park. What am I expecting out of it? I did that. Trust me. I do 100% get it. It's just at the same time, I'm sitting there going, 
I wish to have seen the full culmination of that story. It kind of like it was teased and this interesting stuff was teased, but instead of going the interesting route, no, we don't go over here to more of the twist. I don't know, swerve. It's like a Vince Russo swerve. And a lot of people enjoyed it for me. I just felt it was a cop out ending. I thought, really, that's the way it ends? This mint berry crunch thing? Okay. Like, it was kind of funny for the first, second, or third. Mint berry crunch, but it's like, okay, I don't go, whatever. You know. It wasn't, a, I wasn't a huge fan of it like other people were. Because again, I was actually curious about this whole Kenny thing. It was too bad. Maybe down the road it does. I guess, you know, what more can you find out about, but I don't know. I thought there was actually going to lead to something more, and I don't know why I thought that. And then Season 15, Episode 1 is pretty much a take on the human centipede, which I'm not a fan of that movie. Um, i probably say I like this episode more than that movie, which I know became a trilogy of movies for some reason. Pretty much Carmen... Gets an iPad, but he's found out he doesn't really have an iPad. So he tries to make his mom to buy him one, but she's like, it's too expensive. Why don't you get this Toshiba? It's half the price. And Carmen treats his mom like crap. You know, if you don't fuck me, mom, you better bubba, you wine and dine me first. Just Carmen be a total piece of crap to his mom. Even when his mom finally fed up with that, he kind of tosses his kind of crying voice, but then once again it goes back to treating her like crap. Meanwhile, the other kids do have iPads, and this was a fun idea because there's always those user agreements. Anytime you do anything, it's always such a long list, and most of us don't read that stuff. Well, what if, like Kyle, he doesn't read it, like most of us don't. But in the five pred, there's something that is very dire in circumstances and consequences. So him and two others have been kidnapped. And Steve Jobs is going to have this experiment called the Human Centipad. So you have this Asian guy in the front, cow in the middle, and this lady on the end. And if you never saw the Human Centipede, it was pretty much this film where this crazy doctor has his experiment to... So someone's ass to someone's mouth, and then so their ass to someone else's mouth. So like if the first one eats, they would in the by the repercussions of the body, it flows through the whole thing to come out the end. And I, the could you link all these bodies together for one to make one form? You know, very weird. I thought it was always a stupid fucking idea for a movie, and I don't know why the hell there's three movies. I didn't like the first one. Some people liked it, but I don't know why. Like I said, I, I, this 20-minute episode I thought was much better, faster, and you get all the stuff from the movie, among other stuff. I do like the sentiment that the other kids go, well, yeah, reread it. Why didn't you read the agreement? Who agrees to something they don't read? And they keep trying to teach Kyle to actually read this stuff, but he never does. And they, God, why don't you read the user agreement? Read it. <laughs> now, I mean, the, the stuff with Cartman got a bit boring and typical. Cartman being an asshole again. Cartman treating his mom like shit again. I don't just see my old hat. There's nothing really that funny. I mean, the only bit of the plot that happens is that he says it out loud. People interpret it a different way. He gets on Dr. Phil. He's like, yeah, my mom fucked me this. Now, in his idea, fucked him over. But they're thinking it's something sexual. So, one thing leads to another. Because he was on Dr. Phil, Steve Jobs somehow gets word of this. And, hey, kid, we don't give you a gift. This human sent a pad. And Trevor's like, wow, I did this, and Kyle has to eat shit? This is perfect. But then the other kids, Stan and such, get 
Kyle's dad, who's a lawyer, to talk to the geniuses, people that type on their computer a lot. The running joke is one of them says, should we give the store credit? Uh, should we give the store credit now? And then because they're geniuses, they open their mouths and light beams go into each other's mouths just because. And one at least another, and uh, they're able to find a way. You have to join Apple, and then he'll be part of your network, and he can get out of the agreement. He he does it, and then Kyle curses. Oh, I had this. God, why do you do this? He gets struck by lightning, and the episode ends with him crying in the hospital while his mom reads a book. The end. I do wonder how people would have thought of this if they never saw the human centipede before. So they looked at this idea, they go, oh my god, it's so ghastly of an idea. It's like, yeah, and there's, it's like, I think there's like three movies. Maybe there's more, I don't know, but I think there's at least three movies. Uh, the The idea of not reading the user agreement and the issues that arise from that, I thought was kind of funny and clever and relatable because a lot of us don't read the user agreement either. The human centipede baby is a funny dad at first, but it really goes forward with the poop jokes at the Japanese. Was it Japanese? It was like, oh, I need to eat the cuttlefish. Cuttlefish are about to come out to asshole. And there's at least two or three times where you hear it coming out of him into Kyle's mouth and then back to the end. I would say both these episodes didn't really do much for me. It wasn't really big. Like the, the previous episode, I mean, uh, the one I thought was kind of a lame cop-out. Just, you know, Cartman acting like a kitten for Cthulhu. Cthulhu just defeated easily by Mintberry Crunch. All that stuff about Kenny, there's no end to that story, really. Uh, and then the season 50 episode 1 is like, okay, iPad must have been a new thing at that time, so bring it up. Carmen being addicted again. Uh, I did a human centipad. I did maybe it's a dad yeah, that's kind of funny for a couple minutes, but for me, not for a full episode. It's not one of my favorites, I'll say that. I mean, I probably say at least I like that more than the season 14, episode 13, but both of these. I wasn't that impressed by. It wasn't really that funny or hilarious about either one, at least to me. You get a little bit more screen time for Kyle's da dad, which he doesn't usually get a whole lot of screen time throughout this show. Other than that, I don't know what else to say. So, again, can't say I was a big fan of either one, but, you know, we'll see how the ongoing episodes forward, maybe it gets better. But I would say, you know, throughout it, like, I've enjoyed a decent amount of the South Park episodes. I definitely have more of an appreciation now compared to when this whole journey on South Park started, so at least there's that, but not all of them are going to be winners. These two, uh, eh, I would, yeah, not bait on them. Thanks, Edward, once again, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.